Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with day two of season three. Today it is Group B's turn. We have LBF versus CDT, and at the same time we have Rusty Furry versus Coalition Francophone. I am spectating La Banda Frenchies versus Clan Dream Team here today. LBF are the ones on the attack. Dream Team are on the defense. This is round one, match one. The first time these teams will be facing each other in this ladder. We are playing on Oosterbeak 01. I hope you enjoy the game here today. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to join the Postscriptum European Ladder official Discord or visit our website. Link in the description so you can keep up to date with the ladder and its progress and when the next games are going to be. And if you're watching this on Twitch, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this game. As always, there's a 30-minute delay. With that all being said and done, let's fly over the teams and have a look what is going on. We have Dream Team on the defense here. And you can see Dream Team moving out, creating a perimeter around the first cap here. They're not going to be sat on the cap. Let's just stay with them a little bit. You can see them moving out in different sections, similar to what we saw in the first game with uh, Volunteer da Patri and Joint Task Force. You can see a pack gun there ready to use. Let me just get rid of the, there we go, the blue outlines. We can see there is a squad that is going to be heading out to the northwest. There looks like there's one that's going to be heading out to the south as well. Sorry, the, the that would be the southwest, sorry. We have a couple of people looking out to head straight out to the west. And then it looks like we're going to have a big push heading north out of the cap itself as well. So Dream Team, choosing to have only a few people on the cap itself... Whilst it looks like they're going to try to set up a large perimeter, a very aggro-heavy defense. This is something that we see a lot in these competitive games. The defenders don't just sit on the cap waiting for the attackers to approach them. They actively go out on a hard, aggro-aggressive attack. And let's have a look at La Banda Frenchies. We've got an MSP rolling out. We've got a Sherman. Two Shermans going out. We've got a Lodgy truck and a second Lodgy truck heading out to the north. We've got the command car there with Juno from Red Dog. And we've got an MSP heading out to the north as well. So two tanks rolling out from Dream Team. And a very split team. It looks like uh, Gorm looks like he's uh, respawning. And we've got a uh, half track rolling out without the machine gun. So the, f the first death goes to Fool, who uh, I'm going to guess he picked the wrong kit and he's having to respawn. Poor guy. So we've got Gat. How I'm sorry if I pronounce any of these names wrong. Ibram and Ellie here in the Sherman rolling out. Look at this Dream Team defense. Look how spread they are. They have defenders setting up a perimeter all around the cap. Look at the cap itself. The cap itself only has three individuals sat on it. The cap, very undefended. But look at the large perimeter Dream Team has set up here. And this is something different than you see in public games. You would not see this in a public game. You would not see this kind of widespread defensive perimeter created this is something you see a lot in competitive games though you see defenders being very aggro very aggressive and very forward the first panzer strike comes in from knight there hitting a side shot on the uh the sherman here of ibram and ellie one more hit and the sherman's going down the sherman is returning fire trying to force that anti-tank infantryman away knight there Fleeing north under fire, being suppressed. Let's head over to the north a little bit here. Well, this wouldn't really be the north. This is the northwest. We've got a big infantry squad with LBF rolling down here from the uh, windmill. And then a little bit deeper, you can see there's already infantry trying to get around there with an, a 122nd or 121st flanking around there. So a large, large perimeter set up for Dream Team. This large perimeter is great for detecting and uh, predicting and finding out where the attackers are going to be coming from. But what it does at the same time, if you spread too thin, if you spread out too thin, it means the attackers can start to gain a lot of ground. So we'll have to see if this widespread defense pays off. You can see a couple of the defenders going down there as Dream Team with their squad are rolling forward. 
Grenade going out there. Gammon bomb. Is that a gammon bomb or a HE? W here on uh, W is going to get flanked here by Eckley. Eckley gets taken out by the K9 there. Rifleman returning fire on W. Let's head to the uh, the south. Also, if you want to see this game with a French perspective, Sheaf Row there will have a French uh, perspective with French comms. You can check out his stream as well. Uh, streams with the same name. Be sure to check out the official Discord channel for the ladder. Also, the website where you can also find details on other castles who will be covering games in the ladder. So, it looks like... Let's bring up the map. We have a very heavy focus coming in on the western part of the map so far. LBF trying to break through the west, but at the same time, they've also sent out two squads over to the northeast that are wrapping around to the east now, trying to break through to the church, maybe trying to cut off that hard spawn at the church and start pushing in on the back side of the first cap. A lot of the a lot of these names we will start to recognize if you've been following my channel um, over the the last few several months. Some of these names you will recognize from One Life events we cover, scrim games we cover, and also just general public games that we play ourselves. Abby here, heading towards the church. That is a hard spawn for the defenders. Dream Team, look at look how wide this is the most spread out defense i think i've seen in any tournament game yet even including season two i've never seen such a sparsely spread defensive team and it so far is paying out they have delayed the attack we're at 38 minutes on the board tickets are fairly equal but this very spread defense is actually paying uh, paying off at this point for dream team Will it continue to pay off, though? Like like we said, they are very spread. They are very sparsely spread. Can they keep up this sparse defense? Or will it start to hinder them over time as uh, as LBF claim more and more ground? We've got Soshi. Soshi, pioneer, German pioneer on the flank here. Spots Eckley. He's looking for that spawn, maybe. Choosing to be quiet. Not shooting. Oh, a trade there. The Pioneer trying to get to that rally, trying to find that spawn. He almost made it. Just didn't get there in time as there was a trade. But yeah, look at this. Look at the blue names. It's in every bush, every tree, there is a Frenchman on the defense. What a very spread out and sparse defense. This allows for a great... Uh, map awareness for the defenders. It will allow them to know exactly where the attacker is going to be coming from. But like we said, it does make them very, uh, very, very uh, thin and spread. So if the attackers bundle up into one large attack, they might be able to punch through the sparse defenses. Basto 18 here. Pioneer with the Germans. Probably trying to look for a rally or a spawn. Uh, looks like we had a disconnect there. OJ disconnected. Unfortunate for him. I'm sure he'll get back into the game as soon as he can. As soon as he can. We do have those random disconnects. It can't be helped. That's the nature of postscript now at the end of the day. Uh, both these teams are European teams, just so we know. And um, they are playing on a European server here today. Look at those shots coming in. We've got a few defenders go down and uh, on the cap. And we've got a Stuka coming in. Stuka lands deep into the forest in the north. It looks like he was aiming for a, a fob or an MSP, but nothing went down. We've got Ibram and Ellie here with that Sherman putting long range shots down. Look at the look at the carnage they're causing. They've been hitting defenders on the cap itself. They've got a few downs in that Sherman. Excellent shot. Uh, excellent shots going out there. Especially with the short barrel of the Sherman. The Sherman has one of the most heavy drops in the game when it comes to uh, firing at long distances it really does drop off quickly so the fact that they're hitting those shots at such a distance really shows the skill level of these players in the tanks we have the second Sherman over there with puppy and puppy 
And look at this big push coming in. This is what I mentioned with the defense. The defense is so spread out and uh, sparse that we might start to see infantry squads from the LPF start to bundle up and start finding those weak spots and pushing through. So far, uh, the 122nd or 121st squad there is doing a good job trying to claim this portion of the map. And you can just see the red name starting to control there. Below us, though, we have that 232. A devastating infantry killing machine. The auto cannon with those HE can be so lethal. So Dream Team choosing to go with an infantry uh, infantry killing machine here with a 232 auto cannon. And look at it just going to down. Spraying HE into the tree lines, into the ditch lines. Doing a drive-by, forcing the uh, attackers to keep their heads down. Getting a couple of kills. A Sherman will be able to destroy this uh, 232, though. And you can see that red... Look at the puppies. The puppies in that Sherman. We might have a tank exchange going on soon. We have Nexus and Dum uh, Dumgar with that Sherman. Driving right next to the 232. The 232 should stop. One shot into the 232. Can the Sherman finish it off? The 232 trying to invade, trying to get out of there. Sherman turning, and there goes the 232. It was actually finished off by Lee. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name, but a good job there finishing off that 232. That is devastating for Dream Team. They're losing one of their valuable tank assets, and that is a long drive back from main base for the Germans. On the defense, bringing a new tank asset forward. Great job there. Great communication by the attackers of LBF, communicating with that Sherman to come forward. Here we go, though. This is the second tank. We have a Tiger 1 on the board. Um, unfortunately, the, the, the names have been blended together. We have Cologne, though, with a Tiger 1. That is going to be very hard for those Shermans to deal with. The Shermans can pen the Tiger, but it's going to have to require them getting into the rear or the side of that Tiger to be effective against it. You really don't want to be chasing down a Tiger when you're in a Sherman yourself. We've got this squad here from LBS still trying to break through on the western side. And they've actually done a good job. They've claimed a lot of ground here. And now with that 232 going down, it allows them ample opportunity to keep pushing. And you can see red names on the board. Look at the red names. They're even deeper. We've got Squad 3 with a deep flank with RB over there. Probably trying to look for those German MSPs. Trying to find out where those spawns are. So they're doing a good job. We've actually got a scout uh, transport. What kind of, Is that the commander? Let's just zoom in on that uh, Willis Jeep for a second to see if that's the commander vehicle or if that's just a regular infantry spawned vehicle. Let's just zoom in quickly so we can find it. Mikit. Who is it? It was a regular uh, Willis Jeep transport and it's allowed for a WP squad to get in position behind the defenders and start pushing and opening up a new tacking angle. So good job by LBF so far. Ticket-wise, they have fallen behind a little bit. We've got the Tiger for Dream Team now uh, firing to the, uh, the, 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 the south, trying to support the infantry in those tree lines. HE is going out. Time, 32 minutes. Still plenty of time on the board. We spoke before the match of how hard this objective is. It's such an incredibly hard objective to take. Dream Team have done a really good job on the defense so far with a very, very uh, spread and unique defense. Can they hold on though? Artillery bombardment is going out now. I would imagine that is German artillery. Yeah, it was because we didn't get a team kill notification. Drew goes down to the artillery there. So that is a... Is that an eight round? Did I count eight rounds of artillery there in the tree line? One kill. It didn't get. It wasn't super effective. So the German artillery is going to be on cooldown now. But it did delay the push from the south a little bit longer. We've got Orbi. An ego there. Ego. A moose. So ego radio man there. He's going to revive his squad lead and they're going to keep pushing up. They're actually really close to a defender rally. Uh, when we've got a dream team squad here who's going to be under pressure from the front and also the flank. That tiger, look at that tiger pushing forward, trying to support the infantry now. In the tree line here. That tiger is going to be so devastating for the allies to deal with. Obviously, this is the, the British against the Germans. The British have arguably one of the worst anti-tank capabilities in the game currently. That Piat, the Piat that the AT get is so inaccurate. It's really hard 
for them to uh, have a an effective tank killing capability compared to the Germans who have the Panzerbaus and the Panzerstreck that do a lot more damage and that Panzerstreck is so lethal even at long distance we've got a big push coming in here now on the uh the the north sorry that would be yeah the northwest we've got a big LBS squad lining up in the tree line slowly pushing forward dream team losing ground a little bit as those shermans continue to fire onto the cap Oh, it's a Churchill now. We've got a Churchill on the field. We've got Ibram and Ellie. I'm not sure. Did it? Did their Sherman get destroyed at some point? Did we miss a Sherman going down? I need to sneeze. Oh, man. Don't you hate those sneezes that take so long to, to, to come? I was just waiting for the sneeze to happen. We've got Thunder sneaking up on the Churchill. Uh, no doubt he's calling out to his team, trying to get a Stuka probably to be called down on the Churchill. Doesn't look like he have a mine or anything, but he's probably pinging out the location. Got right beside the Churchill, so his commander or squad leader can place an accurate mark on it. So that Churchill location is known, and no doubt that Churchill will be moving soon the moment it hears a plane or artillery. Where is that Tiger? So the Tiger is still supporting infantry over here. It looks like it's retreating now a little bit. Maybe it's going to deal with that uh, Churchill. Maybe it's going to reposition and start doing some long-range exchanges with that Churchill. Is Ego alive or is he dead? It's hard to tell in these bushes. Ego is still alive. Radio Man there. He is still alive. And look at all the red names slowly pushing through the tree lines here on the western side of the cap. Gaining ground little by little. Tiger pushing forward. It looks like the Tiger is trying to get itself into position to start doing some long-range exchanges with that Churchill. Look at him. He's scouting. He's trying to spot where that Churchill is. No doubt the Gunner is in the periscope trying to find its location. We've also got infantry pushing in over here on the northeastern side. LBF got an infantry squad on the flank. They've cut off the church. That is a hard spawn. And they're starting to surround and encircle the cap very, very gradually. Tiger doing some shots here. Machine guns being sprayed out. Heavy ordnance being exchanged. Trying to hold back that infantry that's flanking around near the church. LBF, they've pushed across that road. And now they're starting to push along the wheat field and get into the trenches over there. We still have a couple of defenders. Uh, John, June, June, Louis, Louis, John, Louis. Is that, is that correct saying? John, Louis. A uh, pioneer flanking around there for Dream Team, trying to find where the rally is, no doubt, MSPs and so forth. We've got Red Puppy and that Sherman, probably trying to cut off any reinforcement tanks. And there is a big counter push coming in now by Dream Team. Look at the, the counter push coming through the tree lines here from Dream Team. Gathering up their infantry, no longer as uh, sparsely spread. They've gathered up their infantry. Oh, we had a team kill there. Uh, no longer sparsely spread. They're doing a big counter push through the tree lines in the west. Tank exchange going on. Churchill landed a shot on the Tiger. And the Tiger's down to about 70% health after that shot. Another shot coming in on the, uh, the Tiger. Taking it down to about 50%. Tiger returning fire. Can the Churchill take out that Tiger? That'll be a huge kill if they can. Frontal shot, 30 to 20% now on the Tiger. It looks like the Tiger's going to get into cover, though. Excellent work. And then a fourth shot just missing the Tiger. That could have taken it down. Tiger won. Heavily damaged. Almost taking it out of the fight. That would have been a huge kill for that Churchill. And a huge kill for LBF if they could have taken out that Tiger. That Tiger's going to have to now either wait for a repair... Is it going to have to wait for a repair now? And it has. It actually has got a repair crane. So it's going to get repaired and no doubt try to take on that Churchill. Excellent shots from that Churchill though. Ibram and Ellie. Was it Ibram and Ellie in that Churchill? It was. Excellent shots from them. Landing on that Tiger. Ooh, Panzer, Sh uh, Panzer Shrek. Right over the top of the Churchill. Churchill gonna spotted it, spraying its machine gun in the direction it's coming from, trying to suppress Knight, so Knight can't hit another shot. Just over the top of the Churchill again. 
Churchill very lucky. That's two narrow misses from uh, from Knight there. Knight's got his heavy grenade. Oh, and don't you just love to see that? I mean, I am a tank in myself. Some sweet tank revenge there. As Knight gets absolutely decimated by the Churchill. We've got another Lodgy run coming in. Coming in to drop another thousand supplies. Maybe going to uh, maybe gonna build a... Um, a flak. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a uh, 88 pack gun and built at some point. Meanwhile, Tiger, Tiger with the peak, with the corner peak, looking to engage with the Churchill. Oh, the driver didn't put the handbrake on. First shot from the Tiger pushes it out of position, trying to fire onto the uh, the Churchill. Artillery on cap. We have LBF dropping artillery on cap. One kill there. We uh, a bounce on the Tiger at the same time. So Churchill and Tiger are in an exchange. A bounce from the Churchill on the Tiger. Can the Churchill hit an APS ammo rack on the Tiger? It is possible. Will we see it? Likewise, ACR from the Tiger. First shot. Oh, equal health. Tiger returns the shot. Roughly equal health. Another frontal shot, Tiger down to about 60%. Return shot, both at about 60%. The Churchill does have faster reload. Churchill missing its fourth shot and the Churchill is retreating. It is about 50% health. Tiger at the same time also retreating, looking to get that repair. And look at this. We actually have an infantry squad from WP pushing in here. So a angle of attack being altered wp with a uh, infantry squad getting very close to the cap we have a bombing run coming down oh bombing run was so close to the tiger luckily for the tiger crew they moved just in time that bombing run was perfectly placed time on the board 23 minutes still plenty of time and look at lbf lbf have claimed more and more ground here they're pushing deeper and deeper we actually have the sherman pushing all the way up to the cap itself sherman doing some good support here for its infantry getting a bunch of kills it will have to watch out for that tiger though one shot from that tiger could be the demise of this sherman and look how close that tiger is smoke's being placed out by the sherman very good knowledge there placing down the smokes knowing there's a tiger in the area trying to conceal trying to conceal look at that tiger that tiger's right there oh and there goes the sherman knight with that panzer strike right into the side of the sherman unfortunate there lbf infantry pushing through the ditch line pushing through the trenches and the hedges getting very close to the cap dream team still having a strong defense but they're slowly losing ground Uh, Eckley pushing forward. Brain gunner here with Red Dog. Let's just get on board with him. He goes down. He was trying to push on the trench lines. Radio Man kills there. Takes down Knight, but at the same time, he got traded with Knight, killing each other. So that Tiger got repaired. It's back on the field now. The Churchill also returning to main base, getting that repair before it comes back to the action. There will be a new tank coming out, though, now from LBF. So they might choose to go double Churchill. Double Churchill would be huge here. Or Churchill and uh, Firefly. If they bring out two tanks working side by side, they should be able to take out this Tiger. Let's just open up the map. You can see all the red names trying to create a, a encirclement around the cap. But look how much Dream Team has been pushed back into the cap. At the very start of the game, they had this huge spread out perimeter that covered at least 100% extra of the area around the cap. They've been pushed back gradually over time to the point where they're almost all condensed within the cap itself now. So, um... LBF, La Banda Frenchies on the attack, doing a good job of taking over map control and slowly pushing back Dream Team. Can they keep up that pressure? Will they keep it up? Or are they going to start slowly mo losing momentum? We'll have to see. Tiger keeping close to the cap now. Infantry from LBF trying to get in. There is Dream Team. Dream Team have managed to flank around. They have found... Did they find one of the rallies? They did. One of the rallies goes down there. So, LBF have lost a little bit of ground now. Their spawn's been taken out. 
they've kind of been pushed back, so they're going to have to start getting in position again, grouping up, and returning to the field. But there's still plenty of time in it. Tickets aren't that different. 70 in it, which really isn't a lot. That's just a couple of, that's just a few MSPs and a few tanks. We'll have to see. Again, this objective is such a hard objective to take. It on 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 the surface, on the surface of things, the objective doesn't look that hard. But in actual fact, the, the objective is very hard. So as as we as uh, as we called, it is going to be a Churchill and Firefly on the board. There is a Dream Team Logi nearby who's going to be uh, reporting the tanks leaving. Oh, Nexus is going to be careful. Oh, he spotted the mines. Is he going to be killed though? Is uh, Livrail? Yep, Livrail gets an easy kill there. So Dumgar is going to have to be careful now. Looks like Le Levey. I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know the correct way to pronounce it. Looks like he was trying to place a mine on the Firefly. Dungar is in the gun. And he gets the kill there. Stuka. Stuka's deep. I was maybe expecting that Stuka to be on the tanks, but it's not. It's actually very deep. And it looks like he was aimed at maybe a squad rally. You can see the tiger there. Look at the tiger menacingly. Menacingly pushing forward through the hedge lines. Tiger coming forward looking to get ready to have a tank exchange with the Churchill. No doubt the Logi team from Dream Team reported the tanks rolling out from main base. And the tiger's getting in position ready to support infantry to deal with that. Also dealing with some infantry nearby, spraying down the hedge lines with its machine gun, trying to suppress any any infantry that are pushing forward. We've got a big red bowl coming forward here, but look at Dream Team. Dream Team that was a Dream Team was pushed all the way out of this part of the map. LBF did a good job taking over this map, but Dream Team have come back with a big counter push and they've started to contest the tree line over here once again in the southwestern portion of the map. Can they hold on to it? Or will LBF be able to push in? We've actually got Hercule here. Hercules? Her Hercule? Hercule? We've got the best Dragon Ball Z character, Hercule, is actually one man in taking the cap. If he can actually get into the warehouse, that would be actually huge for LBF. He'll create some distraction. Oh, what do we have going on here? We have a uh, we have a tank battle going on. Tiger's got a few shots onto the Churchill. The Churchill's at about 50% health. And a big flank here from uh, LBF. They flanked the Tiger. They hit one shot on it. Is there an AT? Second shot on the Tiger. Can they take the Tiger out? Lenny's got his pipe. Come on, Lenny. Oh, Lenny was so close. The Tiger is so low on health. And the Tiger goes down. The Tiger does go down. A sacrifice there from the LBF anti-tank division has taken out the Tiger from the Dream Team. Tiger is down. So we have a Churchill and Firefly on the board now for LBF. 16 minutes left. They have heavy tank presence. Dream Team have lost their heavy tanks presence for time being. There is a tank coming up. You can see at the bottom of the map there at the south. That tank is about 30 seconds to 60 seconds out. LBF have a huge advantage now. They have a Churchill and Firefly on the board. Superior infantry tanks. And look at that, there's a big infantry vehicle coming in now onto the cap. LBF getting risky now with their plays. They're surging forward with transport vehicles. And the 122nd uh, infantry have rolled straight into the barn. Can they take it? There's a huge play for them. They've taken out the defenders and they're starting to clear out the barn itself. Dream Team looking stretched now. Dream Team's going to have to react to this. There is one defender upstairs. Woolly Pete Grenade's going out, trying to burn him out. Grenade going out there as well. A second Woolly Pete. This is a big play. Dream Team is going to have to react to this. They're going to have to call infantry back to deal with this. Radio Man getting the revive there. 
He knows there's an infantryman. He's got that carbine. Radio man against radio man. Who will come out on top? German or British? Both of them holding the angle, waiting for the smokes to clear. Mad map. German radio man comes out on top. He gets the kill there. Blah, blah, looking the wrong way. He's going to get... Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Some misfire there from Matt. Maybe a little bit nervous. Maybe a little bit under pressure. And Mad Matt goes down, hit by a gammon bomb. This is a huge play here. This is a huge play from LBF. Can they keep up this press, uh, pressure? MG42 there. 535 on the outskirts. Spraying into the barn. He gets taken out as more infantry. And look at Dream Team. Dream Team are scamb uh, 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 scrambling defenders back. This is a huge play. 14 minutes left on the board. The camp is still in German's hand, but there's a big infantry surge coming forward here from LBF. Pushing in. Will we see the first cap taken here? Pioneer for the Germans coming in. He gets sprayed down immediately. This is the huge play coming in now here from LBF. Artillery on point. This might be German artillery as a desperate, uh, desperate, desperate reaction. Red names are in the majority on cap now. We might see the first cap taken. Will this be the first cap taken in the season three ladder so far? It is it's still in German hands. Majority control. There it is. Neutralized. Den Denning camp has been neutralized by LBF. Can they hold on to it? Can they take the first cap of season three? Huge play there. Huge all-in play with the Bren gun and a perfect clear out there with infantry. It all started with that Tiger 1 being taken out with a huge flank there with the AT squad. Huge, huge flank there. Can they hold on to it? Tickets difference isn't that massive. And it looks like Dream Team are sacrificing the cap. They're falling back. They're starting to retreat from the area, trying to conserve those tickets. And it's looking like they're going to move on to the second cap. What a huge play that was there. Huge play from LBF. Couple of strafes coming in. That looks like it's a German strafe there. You can see Nexus and Drum in that Firefly pu uh, pushing forward. We've got the Churchill also pushing forward, looking to support the infantry now. Still neutralized. They haven't taken it yet, but it does look like, there we go. The first cap has been taken. That might be the first cap of the season. Obviously, we have the other game being played between Rusty40 and Coalition Francophone. So, uh, we don't know what's happening in that match. But that is the first cap that I've seen taken in season three so far. What a brilliant play. Time was running out. They had 16 minutes left on the board. And they did an all-in play. First with the Willis Jeep with 80 soldiers flanking the Tiger whilst it was engaged with, uh, engaging with the Churchill. Ch uh, the Tiger just got outnumbered by the Churchill and the infantry flanking it. And then the all-in Bren gun with a squad flying into the barn. That is the risk you take with having a spread-out defense with less numbers on the cap. It is a, a high-risk, high-reward play when you're the defenders, and they did pay with it on the first cap. We move on to the second cap now. The Church is another very strong uh, defensive... Uh, uh, cap can lbf repeat their actions look at all the red names pushing forward trying to use the momentum of that cap now big tidal uh tidal wave of red names pushing forward now you can already see look at the uh, look at the lbf now on the flanks trying to encircle round trying to cut off the hard spawn of uh i, I how do you pronounce that name we have another tank on the field. What tank is it? It looks like a P-38T. Uh, yeah, it is a, we've got a light tank coming forward for the Germans. We have a 38T. Don't sleep on the 38T. The 38T is a devastating infantry killing weapon. It is light. It is mobile. It is quick. It has a lot of HE ordnance, And it can actually deal damage to a lot of the allied tanks if it gets them on the flanks. Huge play there. And look at the tidal wave of red names pushing forward. They're pushing very close to the cap. Obviously, there is a timer on the cap. Three minutes until the cap unlocks. Uh, Churchill has been 
uh, dealt a little bit damage. It's Knight. Knight is back with that AT capabilities. He killed a Sherman earlier on, and he's been harassing this Churchill. And Knight goes down. Churchill takes him out there. The Gunners spotted him. Ooh, what a big play. I still can't get over that play on the first cap. All in play there. On the board, 25 minutes. Still plenty of time for LBF on the attack here to take more and more caps. And they're doing a good job so far. They've claimed a, they've claimed a lot of map control. They're slowly encircling the church. You can see the red... The red names slowly starting to encircle around the church. The T-38... Or P38T, should we say, pulling under onto the church now. Look how close infantry is getting here from LPF. They're all the way onto the perimeter of the church almost. We've got the Sherman. Sherman's close by. Red the, the we've got the puppies. Smoke screen coming down. That uh P38 will be one shot most likely by this firefly. That P-38 is made out of glass compared to the uh, other tanks on the third. And you can actually see the, the, the P-38 is actually retreating a little bit. Maybe maybe made aware that the Sherman, uh, sorry, the Firefly is nearby and it's retreating. We've got Dream Team. Dream Team actually have a strong presence in the north. Dream Team holding the entirety of the northern part of the map. There is no one from LBF pushing in the north. They've been all taken out by a... A strong defensive line in the north by Dream Team. It seems the majority of the offensive for LBF is going to be onto the uh, south and western part of the map. A minute left before the cap opens. The Firefly's engine has actually been taken out. Pioneer taking out the engine. Infantry nearby trying to support the Firefly. That was a very sneaky mash kit there. Oh, he's... Oh, his head's opened up by the Firefly. That Firefly is going to be saved. It is on about 60% eh, of the health, so it isn't that too badly damaged. It will be able to repair its engine and get back into the fight, no doubt. Time on board. 23 minutes. Plenty of time. The cap has now opened up, so LBF can start capping it if they get on point. There's that P-38. The P-38 is flanking around to the north, trying to stay clear of that Sherman, uh, doing the wise thing to stay away from it, looking to support the infantry in the north. The, the 38 will have to watch out, though. Those Piats are weak, but even, uh, even a Piat against a P-38 will be able to take it out in one shot. Very unfortunate there for Orby and Ego. They run straight in front of the uh, the P38 and the P38 gets a juicy little double kill there. I heard a I heard a tank exchange, and there it is. There is actually a tank exchange. Firefly getting a kill on a tank. What tank was that? We missed that. I heard the tank exchange taking place. Is that a Tiger One? That is a second Tiger One. That means uh, the Germans might not have any any heavy tanks left. The Firefly getting a kill on the Tiger 1 there. The Firefly is in a desperate situation though. It has been hit by AT. It is a less than 50% health now. It's, well, actually, it's on 50% health. A W there trying to flank forward. He's AT. W flanking forward trying to finish off this Tiger, uh, this Firefly. He's very low on health. And he gets sprayed down, though, the infantry nearby. So the crew there, Dumgar and Nexus, getting a kill on a Tiger 1 with their Firefly. Excellent play by them. That is a huge loss for the defenders there. They've lost another heavy tank. That is devastating. The P-38 is still in the north. It's trying to flank around and deal with infantry. It'll have to watch out for that Churchill, though. There is a Churchill roaming around. That Churchill will be easy, uh, easy, easy kill there for the Churchill if it does find that, uh, that P-38. Uh, LBF still doing a good job on the flankings. They're trying to cut off that hard spawn from... <laughs> I need to learn how to pronounce these names. They're trying to cut off the hard spawn here on the third cap. And they're doing a good job holding up the reinforcement for the defenders. Basto here. He gets sprayed down. Uh, Kai Winner there getting the spray down on uh, Basto. Looks like that rally is going to be in, uh, in jeopardy, though. GG is very close to the rallies. We've got Rhino. Oh, yeah. GG takes down the rally. Uh, 
Reno. Reno was trying to get his uh, squad rally back online. Just didn't make it in time. Moose 5 rushing forward. This LBF squad here is under real pressure. They've been uh, being devastated by machine gun fire coming in. They also have infantry who keeps pushing on them. They're having a hard time over on this southwestern angle. And uh, the, the approach here on the direct west as well has been heavily contested by Dream Team. Dream Team infantry have done a good job holding up here in the west, especially without that tank support. It uh, looks like the P-38 has fled all the way to the north. You can see the tank markers going out. The Churchill was chasing it down. Let's just see if the Churchill catches up with the P-38. That P-38 is trying to get away. Cat and mouse now. We've got a cat and mouse game as the Churchill. Hungry for this P-38. On the other side of the tree line to each other. You can see the P-38 probably heard the engine of the Churchill and it's stopped. It's turned its engine off. It's being quiet. Huge cat and mouse game going on here in the north. And we actually have a squad from LBF here on the north side as well. Slowly starting to push down. And they're going to get supported by that Churchill and also a Firefly in the perimeter as well. So there's going to be a big push coming in on the north side as Dream Team immobilized to deal with this. You can see Dream Team throwing up a squad heading north trying to counter this push coming in with LBF. LBF also still trying to push in here from the southwestern approach, although they keep getting flanked by these infantry from Dream Team. Dream Team doing a good job with their infantry flanking around. Time on the board, 19 minutes, plenty of time left, plenty of time left. Uh, LBF have lost their presence on the third cap, so the third cap is now exposed, and that is a hard spawn that the defenders can make use of. The, uh, the LBF squad has been wiped out here. There are a couple of Rome infantry uh, still alive. You've got Reno there still alive. And there is an approach coming in from the northeast. But they've already been countered by Dream Team sending an infantry squad to flank them. What LBF need to do here? They have tank uh, supremacy on the board. They need to make use of their heavy tanks. They need to combine the power of the church on Firefly together. Get that infantry support in and start pushing it in a big board together. It's going to be so hard for Dream Team now that they've lost both their heavies to deal with the Churchill and Firefly. LBF need to start grouping their tanks together and start working together with their tanks. LBF with a uh, infantry squad pushing in here, though, on the west, very close to the church. Ego57 leading the charge. He's very close to a rally. Ooh, he gets sprayed down, though, by... Who was that? Ravel33. And Rafael gets a second kill there on Mashkin. They were very close to that rally. If they took that rally out, that would have been devastating. Uh, Ty Crayon, very close. Grenade goes out from him. He actually gets a kill. Second grenade takes down the rally takes down the rally so the defender rally is down and Raphael 33 is bleeding he needs to bandage himself or he will bleed out to give him a chance to get his defender rally back on it looks like yeah he is bandaging himself hiding in that bush Ty throwing out smoke grenades throwing out smoke grenades the tanks pushing down Ooh, tank. Firefly firing on Dark Fate there. Dark Fate, Radio Man. Rally going down there for the 122nd. Dream Team retreating with their infantry a little bit here in the north after they get pressed by that. Pressed by the, the tank support coming down. Artillery. And look at this push coming in from LBF. LBF has actually broken into the perimeter here. They've actually broken up to, into the perimeter. They have a squad pushing into the church. They've got a couple of kills. And with uh, reinforcements coming in from the no north and that firefly close, they've actually cleared the, they've cleared the church. The church has been cleared. The church has been cleared. It looks like LBF are securing the second cap. How much time on the board? 16 minutes. It's at that 16 minute marker again. And Dream Team is throwing infantry forward, trying to deal with this. Those tanks combining with infantry for LBF making a huge difference there. Knight on the flank of this Firefly. And the Firefly goes down from Knight. What an excellent shot from him. Ammo racking the Firefly with that Panzer Strike. That is a huge kill. Firefly going down from LBF. Massive kill there. Knight has been on his game tonight. Knight doing an excellent job 
on the AT part for Dream Team, taking out the five fly. He's got two tank kills to his name now, and it's been a constant, constant fawn in the side for the tank crews for LBF. LBF under a lot of pressure here. LBF under a lot of pressure here. Dream Team trying to throw infantry forward. Stuka coming down. Stuka landing on the church, ineffective. Dream Team, look at the blue name surging forward. They're coming straight from the third cap and also the rallies nearby. This is going to be contested. Is the point neutralized? The point is still in German hands and more and more blue names are getting on the cap. There are reinforcements coming. There are reinforcements coming for LBF. Can they get the second cap? Will they get the second cap here? This is so close. It's very heavily contested. Let's go inside the church for a second as Dream Team throw infantry forward. Horse surface on the inside with that uh, M34. We've got two infantry upstairs for LBF. Bren gun on the outside trying to cut off the reinforcements from Dream Team. He's under pressure. Car 9 trying to get him. Bren gun against Car 9. He's having to retreat now. He gets headshot there. Bullet straight to the side of the head. He goes down. Groom Fool has gone down. And the tower has been cleared by Horse Service and Moose 5. LBF very close. It's still contested though. LBF have this big wave of infantry coming forward. They still have an opportunity to take the second cap here. Dream Team have threw everything they can forward to hold on to the second cap. 100 ticket different lead now. 100, uh, 100 tickets deficit, should I say. Time on the board, 14 minutes. Dream Team have a full squad on the cap now. But they are under pressure. LBF throwing names forward here. Big red wave of infantry coming forward. Where is the tank support? Obviously, the, the, the Firefly went down. There is a Churchill in the north. The Churchill is slowly pushing forward in the north. That could be huge. Churchill putting some shots down onto the church. Artillery coming in now. That's Zeus. Is that German artillery? Yeah, that was German artillery. German artillery. Actually, very effective defender artillery. Wiped out a lot of the attackers here from LBF. Very well-placed artillery into the tree line. Getting one, two, three, four, five, six. Six potential kills there. Look at that Churchill in the north, though. That Churchill firing heavy audience straight into the Churchill. Straight into the windows. Gets a kill there. Rage goes down to that Churchill. Uh, I imagine Knight is going to be uh, surging forward to try deal with that Churchill as fast as possible. LBF still have a, a strong presence here in the north, pushing infantry forward. I hear another tank. Yeah, what tank is it? The Germans have pulled another tank forward. Let's have a look quickly what it is. Is it the P-38? It's the P-38. The P-38 is still alive. That's going to be devastating for the attackers if that LBF can get into position. Dream Team doing an excellent response job there, though. Look at Dream Team pushing forward. They've cleared out the tree line, and they're starting to get control of the second cap once again. Second tank coming forward here now from Nexus and Drum. It looks like it could be another Firefly. Let's just zoom in on it quickly. My, uh, my speed is very slow. Come on, zoom in. It is a second Firefly. So a Firefly coming forward now from LBF. It's going to be approaching from the south, southwestern side. The infantry here getting completely flanked from LBF. Look at uh, W, John, and Mash Pit flanking around the, the, the LBF infantry here on the western portion of the map. Their rally's under pressure, completely encircled. It looks like Dream Team is going to hold on to the second cap. Time being. Churchill came forward close in the north. It's taken a little bit of damage. It's down to about 70% health, 60 to 70% health. It's trying to support infantry. It's been doing a good job in the north. <clears throat> and look at that full squad on the cap now. In fact, more than a squad from Dream Team. Dream Team stacking the church heavy now. They, they know they came very close. They almost lost a second cap there now. And it looks like they're going to be a lot more cautious with their defense. They're going to hold more people on the cap at this point. 11 minutes. Still plenty of time for LBF to do something big here. Still plenty of time on the board for LBF to do something big here. That Churchill has retreated a little bit. Maybe maybe scared of the Panzer Strikes that have been flying over its head. Sherman, uh, sorry, the Firefly in the south is pushing back as well. Sherman's being chased away by Mashfit and W. It's actually stuck in the trench at the moment, so it's going to be a little bit slow. 
it will have to be careful. It's being chased all the way back. And that is a strong presence from Dream Team now. So close. LBF was so close to securing the 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 second cap there. It was very heavily contested. And it for a for a while there, it was in LBS LBS favor. But Dream Team managed to hold on for time being. Uh, sorry, Dream Team managed to hold on against LBF for time being. LBF still doing a big presence here, moving in from the northeastern side, slowly capping around, uh, slowly encircling around the cap. You can see as the red name slowly curve around, trying to encircle it. The P38 there, firing up north, doing a good job, getting some long range infantry kills, trying to clear out those tree lines in the north, doing a good job there. And it looks like LBF. They're, they're falling back a little bit. They're falling back, maybe getting ready for one big push here towards the end of the game. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. LPF. Regrouping a little bit. Regrouping. They had a big push on cap, but they have been withheld by Dream Team. So close to taking a second cap there. Go over to the board to Mr. Salty all the way here on the... Uh, what would this be? This would be the, the eastern side. Mr. Salty trying to protect his rally as Dream Team are sending infantry to probe into the tree lines. Trying to find out where they're spawning from. Trying to find out where LBF is coming. We've got Tam here, Pioneer, looking for where those spawns are. Looking for where those rallies are. <coughs> Nutcracker got himself a very strong position. Is he a marksman? He's actually a marksman. Very strong position for him. He's able to watch through the tree lines. Let's just hide a name. Look at this position for a marksman to be in. He can clear. He can see clearly through the tree lines here. So this is a great position for a Nutcracker to watch the north and east. Very strong position from him. He's able to spot where the infantry is spawning from. I just heard a vehicle explode. What vehicle was that? We just heard a vehicle explode. I'll try find it. And I think it was it was a Willis Jeep. Willis Jeep goes down. That's that's tickets. We've got over a hundred ticket lead now for Dream Team, and their uh, Firefly is very heavily damaged. Knight, ooh, Knight just missing with that Panzer Shrek. He almost took out the Firefly there. Knight once again. He's got his second. He's got his second Panzer Shrek. He's going for that. He's gonna yolo it. Can he hit that long range shot? He just has to get visible. He's going to get on the other side of this headline and he's going for that long range shot. Will he hit it? He's eyeing it up. Is he going to go for it? No, he's uh, holding back. He's holding back for time being. Didn't quite have the angle. But he, he was going for it. You saw him going for it. El Jolo here. Sprays down Knight. Commander there. For LBF, killing Knight. We've got a big infantry push coming in here on the south side. LBF have regrouped and they're coming back. Big push coming in on the north as well. Look at Dream Team. Dream Team have moved out from the church again. So this is ample to, uh, This is ample opportunity now for LBF to do one big push here. You see the church are pushing all the way forward here on the north. Try and support the infantry through the, the tree lines close to him. LBF have pushed all the way up here onto the church's perimeter again. This could be the final play of the game. Seven minutes left. All in now. Do or die. Can they take this second cap and extend the game here? Churchill going deep. Deep here. Trying to pull this infantry forward. Trying to lead the charge for LBF. Can they do something big here at the, the closing time of the game? LBF pushing forward here on the southwestern side as well. They're getting held back though by Dream Team. Dream Team have that sparse defense again. That very sparse defense that has been a habit for LBF throughout this game. But they're not giving up. This has been an excellent game from both parts. You've got to give credit to both teams in this game. What an excellent game we've had here. LBF have been so good on the attack. And likewise to Dream Team. Dream Team have been so strong on the defense. It's been such a back and forth talk and war game. Churchill takes a hit there from W. Churchill down to about 50% health. Panzer, Panzer Faust flies over the top of the Churchill. So the Churchill is going to uh, escape with about 50% of its health. It's most likely not going to go for a, a repair. It's probably just going to stay in the action. P-38 has flanked around to the south. Cutting off the, uh, cutting off the attack from LBF here in the south. 
That P38 has been alive for quite a long time. He's been playing cat and mouse with the uh, the heavy tank of the allies. The answer and Piero in that uh, P38. Who is this here? Is this is this AT? Will we see an AT? Get the P38. Doesn't look like it. The P38 is going to drive away. It's going to keep heading south, looking for where that MSP, looking for where those rallies are, trying to find where LBF are spawning. Let's head back to the north. We can see red names pushing up close to the church. Time, five minutes left. Churchill still supporting infantry. LBF with infantry pushing very close. Smoke screen going out now. WP and one, uh, the 121st. Pushing forward now. Grenades going out. Four-man infantry squad pushing forward here. Churchill in support. Reno on the perimeter. John there with the MP40. One kill. Two kills. That MP40. Golfar there. Returning five with the Bren gun. Golfar goes down on the inside. Mad Matt holding up Radio Man on the inside. Infantry still pushing forward here though. More infantry from LBF going in. A hit on the Churchill. Panzerfaust hit the Churchill. Churchill's at about 20% health now. Churchill's very low in health, but it still needs to support infantry. This could be the last play of the game. The last roll of the dice. Nexus and Dungar are back with the Firefly. W on the flank. He's trying to place the mine. Got the Panzerfaust out. Engine down. What's he going for? He's going to place mine first. Can he get the mine on the move in? No, he's going to go for the Panzerfaust. The Bren gun. The Bren, the Bren carrier play. LBF are going for that last throw of the dice again. They're going to mount up the Bren gun. Uh, the Bren carrier. Let's go on board here. Bren carrier going in. A big infantry transport here. Can they repeat what they did on the first cap? Four minutes left. Come on, Bren carrier. Faster, faster, faster. Five flights supporting the Bren carrier. Churchill goes down. This is the last play. 100 tickets left. What an excellent game we've had here from LBF. I love this. Rolling the dice here at the very end. Dream Team. Spraying down the brain carrier. Only two alive left in the brain carrier. They're still pushing forward. Can they get bodies on the camp? Can they take this? Brain carrier on the wall. Can they get in and clear it out? Mad Matt, go, uh, Mad Matt goes down. Radio Man and, uh, and uh, a uh, Stengler. That could be a mortar or it could be a, um, a, a squad leader. Two mans pushing inside now. Steel gets sprayed down. Let's open the map quickly. They're pushing in. Moose goes down. Can they get the cap here at the end of the game? Three minutes left. Can they throw names forward? Can they get enough on the cap? Artillery coming down now. Artillery. This is German artillery. German artillery trying to cut off the uh, reinforcements from LBF. That Firefly trying to get forward. Its engine's been damaged. Dream Team throwing names forward again. Trying to hold on to the second cap. 80 tickets left for LBF. I love this. Rolling the dice at the very end. They're not giving up. They're playing to the very end. What an excellent game we've had here from both teams. Smoke's going out, grenades going out. Dream Team, desperate defense. Look at the inside of the church here. They've got machine guns holding this angle, doing everything they can. GG gets hit by smoke. He might actually die there. He's getting burned by Wooly P. I heard, an end, uh, I heard a tank go down. Knight with a, another kill there. Knight, AT for Dream Team, getting a kill on the Firefly. The Firefly goes down, and then he gets an infantry kill as well. <laughs> Firing his last Panzerstreck at Lee Munch. He gets hit by a Panzerstreck. LBF still putting names on the church. Time, two minutes. Two minutes left. I think Dream Team have got enough to hold this, though. I think Dream Team, unless the commander comes forward for LBF, I think Dream Team is going to hold this. Uh, fives there, throwing grenades out. He's got the MG holding the road here. A infantry from LBF pushing forward. Smoke's going out, trying to get in the church. The P P38 in the south. Another tank coming up there. Another tank. What tank is it? Just so we have a record of it. It is a P3. A short barrel P3. LBF pushing forward. They're trying to get names on cap. A minute left. If they get their commander on the cap, they still might have enough to take this. But it's very unlikely. 
I think Dream Team is going to hold on to it. 40 tickets left for LBF. And they're still not giving up. They're doing everything they can. This is what we love to see in these competitive games. Playing to the very end. Giving it all they can. What an exciting game we've had. I hope you have enjoyed it as well. Watching here on Twitch. I hope you've enjoyed this game. Excellent game. Credit to both teams. They've made this really exciting and entertaining to watch. Both teams. Labanda Frenchies and Dream Team. What excellent sportsmanship. What excellent gameplay made this very entertaining to the very end, playing with everything they've got. This is what you love to see in competitive games. Time on board, nine seconds. Dream Team is going to hold. Dream Team is going to hold. Minor, minor victory there, it says on the board. I'm just going to mute the uh, desktop audio. I hope you enjoyed this game watching in chat. Uh, I will be back. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to restart the stream and remove the delay so we can talk about the match and watch the highlights afterwards and maybe do an interview with the players. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and join the official Postscriptum Season 3 Ladder Discord. Links below. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Credit to both teams. What an amazing game.